Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick video to ask if you can help me. Now this is the new Goose Guy S1 Legend Edition. I've looked at the S1 before. The Goose Guy S1 and S2 are beautiful little helicopters. If you can fly a multi-rotor, then with the exception of below 50% throttle, uh, these things act and behave exactly the same. And for those of you that have been watching the channel for a bit, you'll know that I'm building a flying robotic helicopter with R2 Copter at the moment. Um, helicopters will make my pulse race in a way that pretty much everything else won't. These are a great way to get into flying helicopters because they're small and lightweight and less mass means less damage. However, you do need to treat them with respect. However, the point of the video. Now, a while ago when I did the video on the S1, I talked about originally included the Fataba protocol, uh, very similar to what people like OMP, Hobby, and others do as well. Uh, this new Legend Edition, the little all-in-one flight controller doohickey that's in here, will actually support Express LRS, which is really, really exciting. And I've got this in because I want to try it with Express LRS. However, I'm really struggling to find how you set the radio up. The reason is, well, if I set it up as I did before with the HTX on Express LRS and use Channel 5 for the arming of Express LRS like we normally would, that means that the Channel 5 stuff, which I think normally sets the modes, means that in only one mode for the helicopter, Express LRS is going to be turned on. That doesn't seem to make sense to me. I've connected the Bluetooth module and see if there's an option within that the app that you can connect to the little helicopter over to tell it. Ex Express LRS, maybe that would reorder the channels because you want aileron elevator throttle rudder, you want channel five as arming for Express LRS, then you'd want something like your pitch channel and potentially then like rescue channel and some other bits and pieces. I just can't find the information. I've emailed the guys at Goose Guy and at as of the making of this video, I still haven't got a response. Now, there are loads of people who have made some great content for its bigger brother, the S2, but again, using Express LRS, but all of them are not showing me how to fix this problem. Specifically, how Channel 5 is handled, because Channel 5 is used for Express LRS arming. When it's a low position, Express LRS, all the goodness is turned off, but it's still being used for a mode for the helicopter. And secondly, by default, Express LRS, of course, is only sending the first four channels in 1024-bit resolution, which means that channels 6, 7, 8, 9, whatever, you need to go through and specifically set those to be wide or hybrid or something else so that you have a nice, fine range of pitch. Because if you were using channel 6, I think it is, for pitch control, and it only has eight steps, that's going to fly like an absolute piece of crap. So, do you know where this information is? Do you know where I can get my hands on it? Uh, this is a beautiful piece of flying technology. Goose Sky are not the first ones that I've come across when they've added Express LRS support into their technology, haven't taken account that Channel 5 is only used for Express LRS arming, so using it as some kind of motor interlock would make sense, but also that there are extra things that are needed, and that needs to be in some kind of document, and maybe I'm just looking in the wrong place must be out there surely if you know where it is please please let me know then i can set this up and take it for a fly thank you for watching my video check out the playlist and adding payment 360 to your search terms will help you find my content if you haven't done so already please hit the like and subscribe button it helps a lot you can support the time i spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description